Park. Hey everybody, it's the Gray Spartan here, and if you haven't noticed, Halo Wars 2 has recently come out, and I just felt like, you know, it's time to do a little bit of a review on this game. Because, A, I've done a lot of real-time strategy back in my past. Uh, I've done a lot. I've played a ton of Command & Conquer, especially when I was in the Navy and I worked on the ship. Um, I did a lot uh, as probably one of the best players on the ship. I don't think by the end of Command & Conquer, or, or before I left, I know I know I was rarely ever beat. I was actually pretty good. Um, of course, I played Warcraft 2, Warcraft 3, and that, of course, evolved into World of Warcraft, but that's not a strategy game. But still, I've played some strategy games back in my day. So I've got a little bit of history um, going on here. Now, I wanted to talk about um, different aspects. Don't worry, there's not going to be any spoilers in this uh, review. Now, multiplayer. Now, there's different modes of multiplayer, which I love. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can play. Now, there is the classic Team Deathmatch, which is awesome to play. You just build up your bases, you gather resources, you work with teammates, and you, the way to win is to destroy the other team. Now, this may take five minutes, or it may take an hour, or even longer. Depends on how good the players are, and if you can really counter each other. Uh, it can be a quite, quite an epic battle. Um, that's your classic Team Deathmatch mode. Now, domination, very similar to regular domination. You have to capture these points on the map, and whoever gets the most points by the end, because every point you, or every spot you capture, you start gaining points. And there's three separate points, and then once you gather up all the, uh, if you gather up all the points, and then you win the match. It's that simple. Um, classic domination. Um, it's all about the points and getting as much as you possibly can. The best way to do it is gather two spots and just protect them like nobody's business. Um, if you can get three spots, and then you can just absolutely wipe the other team out. However, you do kind of spread yourself thin at that point. Now, the new game mode, which is called Strongholds. Now, this might sound similar to Domination, but it's actually not. Um, Strongholds is really unique. Uh, it gives you about five points on the map. You have to go capture them. And then once you capture them, of course, it gives you a quick little mini base that you can build up. And you have infinite resources, so you can just keep re uh, building up your, your source or your... <laughs> I'm talking about your, your, uh, your army. You can build up your army, build up counter armies to whatever the enemy is doing. Um, you, it, it's really quick. You have no limit on resources. Your top tier... So it's just, you want to jump in and get into the fight right away. Which is really cool to do um, if you want to do that kind of thing. Really fun. Um, to win the match, all you have to do is have the most points, or most captured points at the end of the match. Like say if there's five points, if you capture three points, and you win the match at the end of 15 minutes. Because it's only a 15 minute timed game. So a quick game, which is awesome. Um, let's go ahead and jump on to Blitz. Now, Blitz is a brand new game mode, which, uh, of course, you're watching in the background. Um, I like it because it's very quick. Matches last maybe between 5 to 10 minutes. They don't last in terribly long. So if I only got a few minutes to play a few games, Blitz is where it's at. I can jump in there uh, with a teammate or just by myself. And I can just uh, go in there and, and just have, have fun. And it's quick and uh, fast and easy. Now, the play to play Blitz is that you actually get these cards and you do the daily challenges, which I'll talk about here shortly. And you can get card packs. And the card packs will allow you to boost up the power of your cards and, of course, gain a larger variety. Now, there are some specific cards that are tied to certain uh, leaders, which is kind of really cool. It's like only um, Captain Cutter has archer missiles, you know, and only the shipmaster has the glassing beam. And it's really cool that they add that type of variety. Now, you only get 12 cards, but it recycles really quick, and it's really fast, really fun to play. 
Um, that's easily my quick pick to uh, knock out some matches really quickly. Now, the other game mode, which is actually still Blitz, but it's actually uh, Blitz Firefight. Very similar. You use your cards. However, you don't give, you don't get constant income. Um, you have to go out and collect the cores. And once you collect the cores, you can uh, you uh, spend those uh, core points, and then uh, you can just keep going on uh, and last as long as you possibly can. You can do this solo, or you can do it co-op. It's pretty fun. Um, it's really intense by the end because uh, <laughs> the waves just keep coming and keep coming and by the end you just are absolutely overwhelmed especially when you get to up to legendary now I don't know if there's a mythic uh, <laughs> a mythic version of our level of um, firefight but if there is it should be pretty pretty crazy now let's go ahead and jump into well I want to talk about the challenges real quickly because number one I love challenges I love having those back um, we haven't had challenges since Halo 4 and Halo 4's challenges were kinda weak because once you got maxed out to, to 120 I believe it was that was it you know there was no point to doing them anymore Halo Reach the challenges were awesome because they incorporated the campaign the multiplayer firefight just all sorts of different things and by the end of Halo Reach they actually had custom challenges which you could challenge your friends to certain things which was really awesome um, I loved doing that uh, back in the day really cool stuff to do um, there is that and then I love completing those and it's really fun to have that finally back now let's jump into the campaign which like I said earlier, there is no spoilers here. None. I'm not going to give you any spoilers. Um, other than what you probably already know is that Atriox is a very, very bad guy. The campaign, in my opinion, is probably one of the best campaigns I've played in Halo since Halo 3. Possibly Halo Reach. It's been a long time since we've had a really good bad guy. Um, in Halo 4, we had the Didact and by the end it was really lame and how we how he was beat uh, seriously we had a, a quick time event and then you, you beat the didact that was, that was pretty sad in my opinion but I imagine it was more or less due to time constraints uh, being uh, forced on to uh, 343 by Microsoft now Halo 5's campaign probably my least played campaign mostly because you had some really odd things in it and you're going up against the master chief or you it's just and of course the bad guy is Cortana yeah to me it was just not that great of a campaign it just really didn't feel like it pushed anything forward um, but moving over to Halo Wars 2 campaign you quickly become to really not like Atriox, and he's really good uh, that in that way. He's really fun to get behind. That you can you can hate this person so much. Um, that's what I like. Uh, in Halo 3 and Halo 2, of course, you had the Covenant, but you had had the 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 hierarchs, and it was just really uh, awesome that when you finally got to destroy them. Um, and take out down the covenant. It felt great. I haven't had that in so long. Um, and that's where I think this campaign is really excelling. It just really feels really good in that aspect. You feel like this is an enemy that is going to be a problem that we really need to take care of. So that's my thoughts on that, guys. Um, last thing to talk about, of course, is do I recommend this game? Absolutely, this game is pretty awesome. I love uh, the wide variety of the multiplayer, and of course, I'm an epic campaign um, fan, so I really enjoyed the game. And if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence about it, I would definitely uh, go for the, the, the buy on this one. Or wait a little bit and see if it goes on sale, but I don't think this one's going to go on sale for a little while. 
Well, that's my thoughts on it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. Hope it helps you out. I hope you enjoy the gameplay in the background. I do take a note that I do not have a capture device right yet. This is actually my uh, Xbox DVR that I'm able to capture this stuff. Oh, good times. Don't worry, I'm slowly building up my uh, my setup again. But until next time, guys, this is Crazy Barton, and I am out of here. You were savage, merciless, and cruel. I am impressed. Comment, like, and subscribe.